Hello, welcome back to Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. I think it's part three. We've just done the second of the two kind of trials needed to get through the door to Helheim. And so that's basically what we're going to be doing this episode. Is this the door? No, we're going to have to run all the way back through with some dialogue. Let's listen to this first. But yeah, um, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or go you need to go back to episode one if you're new to the channel. This is your first video. Um, I will link episode two below. But there will be a playlist on my channel now. Can you see the faces too? They're there if you look for them. I should look for them then, shouldn't I? They're there. If you look for them. Where in the mountains and the trees? I think I've seen one. Mother. Senua, you have the sight. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. Mm. It was a time before the darkness. Mm. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. No. Oh. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. We did see it in the waterfall, didn't we? First like episode. She's still watching over. She misses her so much. Mm, that's sad. This way. Yes. So yeah, if you need a reminding, our dead lover, whose head I think is in this sack on our, our waist. His soul is in Helheim, being guarded by Hela. We need to go and barter with Hela. And here we are, the door the to Helheim. And the mark of Surt, you may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. The bridge over the river of knives. Open the gate. Don't open the gate. No, don't. No, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. Don't. And yeah, if you need reminder what those voices are, it's to do with our character having psychosis. So dark. It's dark. The darkness. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross. The dead may cross. Only the dead may cross. So dark. I thought it was just going to open out onto the bridge. Truth? Anyone? There is no one here but me. Who is you? Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds? I will never let you go. You can't get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Damn. <gasps> Damn it! Damn it! Oh, that's a blood eagle. Please know what that is. Either zoom in on that or... At your own risk, Google it. It's disgusting. Where all dreams come true. You searched for control. A way to pull through. When you were in love, you left him in tears. 
to smother your furies and banish your fears. But in darkness they came. Through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now that you're home, he's so far away. They've taken I mean, all these bodies are disgusting. What they've done. And this one is actually there. To these gods, you cannot pray. Please tell they me I was imagining you, it. But not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness, you will find him in your sword still beats a heart. You fought for love unspoiled. Oh, he's there. By your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. In the head of his corpse lies the seat of his soul. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. Still beats a heart. So many voices. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze. Well, averted from life. You ran from it but brought it nearer, led it to him, an endless suffering worse than death. And you wanted to surrender, abandon him to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. Look it in the eye, and you will go to war. This is your mission. This is your quest. There is nothing else left. Um, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, Blood Eagle, if it's like what I've seen in the shows, it's basically something they did to each other, if I consider to each other as like a, it's almost like a test, but it was like for those who had like been dishonorable and yeah, they basically cut your back open and then they would like remove the ribs and then yeah, the idea would be that your skin on the back would open up and then they'd like hang your organs on top of your shoulder sort of thing and if you could sit through it without making any noise, then you'd go to Valhalla was the idea and if you couldn't, and you were going to where we're about to go, probably. So yeah, it's as brutal as, as it gets, really. Oh, you want some? Fuck you! It's nearly over. Finish it. He's gone. The gods you want some fuck? It's awful. So hitting people charges the thing on my waist. I didn't realise, and then if I press that, it'll slow down time. I did not realise. Why suffer the past when there is a new road ahead? The only one that makes any sense. Oh, 
Oh, get fucked. Oh, that was badass. Right, in we go. I'm not wasting any more time. Look how disgustingly depressing it's got now. That's when I started. Come on, then. Every gate you open into darkness brings another chance. Whoa. Oh my goodness gracious me. Who's this big boy then? Hello. Get up. Fuck you. way to deal with the numerous people and it comes back quite quickly bitch which way do I go Journey to However, you come to the gold ah. covered bridge that leads to hell. That's all good. find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. Had a bit of overlap there, that was a bit awkward, wasn't it? Okay, so there's three runes to find. Keep saying that. Showing all three. There we go. Okay, that's one. Is there one here? Because there's like weird wavy lines. 
Apparently not. That's one for this room. Again, we're saying nothing here, so then if I go through here, I need those red runes to light up. What I know. No, that's that. That's just reminding me which ones are left. Building the stairs. Right. It was saying focus, but I was wondering why the rune wasn't showing up, but it's because I needed to build the stairs. Silly me. Now we should be able to get the other two pretty easy. Oh, apparently there's an S. Closer to it than that. There we go. Cool. And there's one more which looks like. Uh, show me it. Show. Me. Okay, cool. Whoa, is this a secret? Better be worth it. It was not worth it. What on earth was the point in this? Your father does not oh, hate me. Face. He just fears the souls in the underworld. He cannot see that they are already afraid. But I am their healer, and I must answer their cries for help, even if it displeases him. But I didn't see that, you know. I'm blind. All right, cool. Worth it. Backstory there for her parents. Okay. Ah, yeah. A little fun factoid down here. I'm not going to be like completionist about it, but if I see one, I'm going to fake it. Hella possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls. High are her gits. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral. Maybe fire. she's just got a really sick bed. They say she is easy to recognize. Half black and half the color of flesh. And her face menacing and grim. I don't really want to meet her, but maybe we'll save that for the very end. And there'll be no bosses until then. How about that? I didn't expect there to be so much combat, actually. I'll say that. Even though I know, like, the majority of the gameplay is the puzzles, but... Yeah, I didn't know it was, like, a boss system. But then...
definitely going to be a scrap on this bridge. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's a beautiful game. Meet Hella for the first time on the bridge. Oh, my. I don't want to. I don't want to meet her. It's coming. I want to do a deal. It's so again. Is it? Is it? It's Hella. Yes. Hella. The source of the darkness. It's coming. This is your moment. This is my moment. I'm sorry. I can't watch this. You can't watch this. It's like a baby. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the darkness. Fight it. Oh, I'm Get scared. Up. Get up. Come on. Get up and fight. I'm brave. Oh. The sword. Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. I mean, my You're sword broke. Rock. Curse. That was not my fault. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? Oh. How stupid can we be? So stupid. Everyone hates her. She's cursed. The shadow of hate. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Dear because me. there's no one left to do that for you. Everywhere. What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Uh oh. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your sword. Do it. Come on. Dare. <laughs> what a troubled young woman. Why go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling. Song. We actually did that with the blade as well. You can, that's the injury, is it? It's not real. It's a trick. It's not real. Or is that just Listen. impact injury? Dillion, my love. I can't sell your new. Need an afternoon coffee. Dillion. 
Come to me. Please. I'm oh, back to square one now. Off the bridge. The light. Go towards the light. It's Ooh. him. There he is. It can't be him. It's just a trick. It's in your mind. No, he's here. It's in your mind. It's real. It's Defo just in my mind. Go but it. Let's go towards it, shall we? Dillian! Dillian! Oh. Who's he having a scrap with over there? There it is. Oh, Dillian, no. I'm hurt, okay? I told you it was to trick you. I told you. Where are you going? I don't know where I'm going. Where's a look up there? That's where I want to go. Lillian? Before she first met him. She was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in Bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own. Check for any secrets. Cooked firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. I like this one. Bad right there in the distance. And lonely. <laughs> okay, two options. That's where he is, but I'm not gonna go your way, Dillion. That is your real name. I'm hunting for secrets. Mama! Senua, there will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted. That's how I feel right now. Like a Bring strange little fish, little fish yeah. swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home. And it does not ask you to swim against it. Okay. Thank you for the inspirational words, Mama. It's already disappeared. Nothing lives here. For fuck's sake, Dillian. It's in your mind. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Wow. There he was. Where is that? The lone figure of a boy. Oh, he's there. So you lay under the shade of a tree. I mean, can you be asked at this point? She remembers the first time she saw Gilly. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. He's there. The world danced with him. The gloom. First time in years, she felt. Oh, hope. I mean, a a ray of hope. Oh, we're going to have to go. I'm too injured for a scrap. That's what anyone's about to try. Don't try it. I mean, what's up here, though? Because that looks like it's going to be towards Dillion. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. Mm -hmm. 
His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Mm -hmm. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him, so King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, oh. they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. What happened next? Oh, come on. How could you do that? And what is this door? That's the just a, it's got a tree on it, but it does not like me. Interesting. Oh, I can't get down. What a waste of time. Alright. Billion. We come, but I'm assuming I'll be coming back here. I wanted to know the end of that story. Sound like Sigmund had a trick up his sleeve. Oh, that boat is rocking. I will not come a knocking. So we're going to go over to Dillion then instead. episode in a row, I'll just comment on the graphics. Like, the ray tracing and the water on the water. And the light. The lighting and the shadows. 2017 this was made. You understand? Four, seven years ago. Four years ago? Seven years ago. I can't remember. The second game, fucking hell, it's going to be outstanding. I think it's out in May. Like I said, I think it's May. I shall be in Florida. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked it, perfecting her own secret dance, wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. It's not a secret. Mm. Please tell me the end of the Sigmund story. Death for Sigmund and his yes. wife seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Ah, oh, you bastard. What happens? Oh, fuming. I'm not going to find it, am I? What happens? I don't care about fucking Dillion. Secrets. How does he so effortlessly call the world and bliss? I don't care about Dillion. So I need to find the secret. Say, see the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. Look 
Let me frolic. It's not going to be here either, is it? That pillar. So, fucking Theresa May. Through the wheat fields. I can't go to any of these buildings. No. Okay, it's railroaded me. That's fine. Whatever. I mean, it's literally railroading me. Okay. Where's Dillion? He's not even here. Oh. No, there's a gap. Oh, Cuts him. Very cold nose. What's your name? <laughs> Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh, Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Um. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one. Where is he? Well, Let me see him. I I watched you, and you learnt all of that from watching me. <laughs> you should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. You should come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. Mm. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! You tell him. Say no. Tell you. Is that you? I'll find you, my Is the is that no? Can you see him? You want to believe it? Is he not real? Oh, oh, oh. You're alone in these mountains. Tell me about the honey. Is this it? Please. You won't survive. Is it not? I've been scammed. No. Shut up. Maybe I have to do this bit first. No, wait. Now the dialogue stopped. Come on. I care about this more than the main story. The fact that it's its own path. Maybe it is. And I'll get it on the way back. Wait, no, there's one here as well. That's defo one. As the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, he bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break. Holds on to his tongue. And he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. 
And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. She sent them for, to help. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Ooh. Oh, the story goes on. Tune in next time. What's around here then? I'm not going to go to the tree. I'm not even sure we can go to the tree, but I'm just going off on a tangent now. There's another one over there. What a fun feature these stories are. Sigmund's sister trades shifts with a sorceress, mm -hmm. and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sigmund. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong and fearless. And so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured and Sigir has them buried alive. He's got your number. Right. Any more? Let me double check. Also, no, I keep seeing these, but this is not the same. There's a couple of these. I'm assuming I'll have to interact with these. Separately. I think that's all of them for now. Wait. No, okay, I could have come up that way. Fine. Take a sword. A sword. Is that a sword? Ah, oh, thank you, Dillian. <laughs> Do you know Take it or take it. I didn't take it. Did I? Yeah, I did. It's there. Ah, now they're a thing. What's happening? Imagine a sword that can slay gods. Oh, it's the sword from the story. I don't know why I didn't click on. Sorry. Yeah. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin. And gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need a sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said a great warrior can reforge grammar by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands. Where you will face the trials. Go to the shards. Go to the shards. Okay. Find it. It's the metal room stones. Hang on. Find it. The metal. The runes. You need that sword. Go well, that's not from Royal Mail, is it? You absolute scammer. Um. Find it. There it is. Focus. Is the shard. Focus. Sure. How many were there? There was like four or five? A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you, about the sword, Tierving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Where are we now? 
But the plus side of not having a sword is that we can't fight. It's strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Look how beautiful this game is, man. So very ordinary. I hope YouTube doesn't fucking compress it to shit like normal, so you can actually see how nice it is. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones. Let me let it finish. Then comes the reckoning. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. That's what this tale is about. A sword made by dwarves, but they'd cursed it. But interesting, is each one of these going to be its own separate story just about something in Norse mythology? I'm here for it. Oh. This looks... a bit strange. Why is it a horror game now? Click to the edges. Some... Julian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? It's over here. Wait. All right, he's coming from that way, so what's this way? Nah, this is fucking vast. I'm gonna follow the voice. I have no intention on exploring this whole place. What's that? Did you hear that? Nothing. Was that voices? Is that his voice or the voice of the dead? Not Dillian. Dillian's calling to you. Can you hear him? Like that. He sounds like he's getting further away. Like that. Let him leave at all. Right, okay, cool. So it was kind of the wrong way. I can't really like that. Find him, get him back. Just there. How could you lose ah. him? How could she lose him? How could she find him? Right, so this should help. What just happened then? Yeah, I think that was a glitch. That'll help me find that room again. So I need, if I find any more of them, I need to light them. I forgot that I had to press F to like interact to light it. Do we lighten something here? Holy moly, it's dark. Yes. That's probably that way. Let's go that way. Don't touch the walls. You don't know what they might do. Turn back. What, the walls? She has to keep going. It's not safe here. Why can't I touch she the walls? To keep going. Oh, there's a story in here. disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. Mm -hmm. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. So many rooms, man. I don't... I need to follow the voices, right? Which isn't what I've not been doing. I 
I mean, it's overwhelmingly this way. Hopefully, if you're wearing headphones, you can agree. Where's that light coming from, then? What's this light? Yeah, it's coming from in here. I don't know, but I want to get in there. Is that a story? It's not I missed out on that one. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go this way now. Wait. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, can I? Okay, so yeah, so now I need to start going in the directions that I haven't got a torch. That's fine. So that's what the torch system is. Oh, brilliant. Hmm. Okay. This might be a bit of trial and error now. You don't recognize it. Don't doubt yourself, you'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do, you know it. She doesn't. Listen for his voice, listen. Dillian. Where listen are you? For his voice, Dillian. This way, his voice is this way. In those other rooms the picture was like wavy, but now it's gone perfectly clear again, so I think I've failed. Let's just follow the voice. Okay, no, I'm gonna go the other way and then right. That I went that way before, and that's when I saw the secret room, couldn't get in it, and then I was back. I haven't gone this way yet. We're going here and then right. That's my theory. Not gone either way though, this way. But this should have the secret room with the with, with the secret, the thing that I call a secret. Yes. No. No. Yes. Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I think I am on the right track. Although now, I take it back because now I am stuck. Okay, so let's carry on going that way because the screen did start to like go wavy as if I was making progress. So we'll go left. Yeah. No, I can't sprint. Then left again. Then we'll go through that hole and then see if we can follow the noise.
Hey. Oh, that starts getting weird. I found it. Dillion wants me to face my fears. What's in here? Got a trophy complete the labyrinth shard challenge. Hopefully there's no bosses. Hopefully it can just be cutscene and then that's the end of each challenge. That was the labyrinth shard. So it's, that's the part of the swords that's been split into shards. Father. I'm assuming these four or five places are going to be different shards of that sword. Yeah, let's have a nice cutscene at the end of each one. I'm leaving. No fighting. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. No. A boy. Chief, no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. He has a very distinctive voice. No. Oh, I know that voice. You will not defy the gods. Uh. Come, child, take my hand. Come. It's anyone. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Fuck off, father. All right. I haven't even had a picture of... Yeah. Cool. It's I like that. You did it, but there's more. Okay. There's always more to do. Can you do another one? Not this episode. That's all the time I'm going to have for this one. But yeah, looks like that is um, going to be the gameplay now for a few episodes. There's, I want to say there's three more. Maybe four in total. Four shards to then get the sword, to then hopefully get Dillion back. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you next week for the next episode. Take care.